For those who are new to the world of firearms, the terminology used to describe different types of rifles can be confusing. In this guide, we aim to provide clarity on the various categories of rifles, including automatic, semi-automatic, and manual, as well as more specific categories based on action types like direct impingement and bolt action. Drawing on my extensive experience as a lifelong gun owner and professional and recreational rifle user, I will explain the similarities and differences between these categories of rifles. Before we dive into the specifics, let's start with a basic understanding of what a rifle is now. Let's kick things off by talking about what a rifle is in the first place. What defines a rifle? As defined by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, ATF, a rifle is a shoulder-fired weapon that features a barrel with a rifled ball and fires a single projectile with each trigger pull. In simpler terms, a rifle is a long gun with a relatively long barrel that shoots one bullet at a time. Let's break down each of these components in more detail. First and foremost, a rifle is designed to be fired from the shoulder, utilizing a stock to provide stability and accuracy. Secondly, a rifle barrel is rifled, meaning it features a series of spiraling grooves on the inside of the bore. This imparts spin to the bullet as it travels through the barrel, resulting in a more stable flight and improved accuracy. Thirdly, a rifle fires one bullet at a time, as opposed to a shotgun, which fires shells containing multiple projectiles. It's worth noting that automatic rifles do exist, which can release multiple rounds with a single trigger pull. However, these firearms are heavily regulated under the National Firearms Act, NFA, and are subject to additional paperwork and background checks. Finally, rifles typically have longer barrels than pistols, although the ATF definition doesn't specify a minimum length. However, the ATF does impose a 16-inch minimum barrel length for rifles before they're classified as short-barreled rifles, SBRs, which are subject to NFA regulations. Because of this, most rifles will have barrels that are at least 16 inches in length. What are the different types of rifles? Now that we have a solid understanding of what a rifle is, let's explore the different types of rifles that exist. It's important to note that these categories are not mutually exclusive, and a single rifle can fall into multiple categories. For instance, a rifle that utilizes direct impingement action will also either be automatic or semi-automatic. In this guide, we'll provide an overview of the most commonly talked about types of rifles in the firearms community. Automatic Automatic rifles use the recoil energy from the previous shot to load and fire the next round. This enables the rifle to fire continuously as long as the trigger is held down, allowing for a very high rate of fire. In the United States, automatic firearms fall under the regulation of the NFA, which imposes additional requirements and costs on prospective owners, similar to SBRs. As a result, automatic rifles are predominantly used by military and law enforcement agencies, and private ownership is rare. Semi-automatic Semi-automatic rifles are a popular civilian alternative to automatic weapons. They utilize the recoil energy from the previous shot to load a fresh cartridge into the rifle's chamber, but the shooter must release and pull the trigger again to fire the new round. Semi-automatic weapons are favored for the higher rate of fire compared to other types of actions, but they are less regulated and less expensive than fully automatic weapons. Bolt Action Manual action rifles, specifically bolt action rifles, require the shooter to manually load a new cartridge into the chamber. The process is done using a metal handle on the side of the rifle that the shooter must manipulate. Typically, the handle is located on the right side, but some bolt-action rifles have left-handed versions. To eject the empty cartridge, the shooter moves the handle up and back and then forward to place a new cartridge in the chamber. Bolt-action rifles have a rich history of use in military, hunting, and recreational contexts. The downside to these rifles is that they are slower to make follow-up shots as the shooter must operate the action by moving their trigger hand away from the trigger and then back again after each shot. Lever Action Lever actions are one of the oldest rifle action designs, dating back to the early 1800s and are commonly associated with the Old West. These manual actions are operated via a handle that protrudes from under the receiver, which extends behind the trigger and ends in a loop for easier manipulation. 
the shooter simply pulls the handle down and back up to remove the previous cartridge and pull a new round into place. Although lever actions tend to be heavier and less accurate than bolt actions, they frequently have a higher capacity. Like bolt actions, shooters using lever actions have to move their trigger hand to operate the action after each shot, but the lever's location makes weak-handed operation easier than with a bolt action. Muzzle loader. Muzzle loaders have a rich history dating back even further than lever actions. As the name implies, they are loaded from the muzzle or the front of the barrel. To fire each shot, the shooter must load a percussion cap, powder, and a projectile down the barrel, and then use a rod to ensure everything is correctly positioned at the back of the barrel for proper function. Muzzle loaders are often seen in movies depicting wars from centuries ago, such as the Revolutionary War. While muzzle loaders are slow to operate, they continue to have a devoted following among those who love historical firearms, and some even use them for hunting. Conclusion there are various types of rifles available, and the easiest way to distinguish them is by their action type. However, it's essential to keep in mind that this list isn't exhaustive. The gun industry is vast, and there are always unique exceptions. Nevertheless, the types of rifles discussed in this guide are the most commonly used. It's worth noting that there's a significant variation even among rifles with the same action type. Although the type of action can limit your rifle options, other factors can help you choose the right rifle for your needs. Thankfully, whether you're new to firearms or an experienced gun owner, we're here to assist you in finding the perfect rifle.